Hi everyone, uh, this is the first uh, run on video of the Bedini 1984 Energizer that we built. Um, a few uh, problems along the way, uh, things like, uh, as you can see, there's a fair old, uh, <laughs> those magnets uh, got a fair old pull to them and uh, things are vibrating a bit but it does settle down a bit. Uh, um, commutator uh, will need replacing. Uh, Chet uh, said to me that the resin will continue to shrink, uh, and it is doing. Um, but anyway, we'll just fire her up. I've got the brush gear set, uh, so it's non-pulsing. It's like a slip ring at the moment. One brush underneath, one on the top. This one we can vary. Now, uh, voltmeter there. Uh, but this is uh, a very cheap voltmeter, uh, literally 200 or 700 volts AC range. Um, right, I'm going to go into switch mode now. It's a bit noisy, mainly because the resin. Uh, has shrunk quite dramatically from the edge of the copper and uh, there's a lot of rattling going on as you can hear and uh, it's a, a metallic coupling on the motor shaft to the uh, uh, no rubber involved so uh, but uh, we've got a few uh, things to do improvements to make and then we can go into uh, testing get the scope on and whatnot and have a proper look at what's going on but in the meantime I'm just waiting for some epoxy resin to come so I can make a replacement uh, let's just move this back onto there you are, that's better uh, as you can see it goes at a fair old rate of knots we've had this flywheel up in excess of 5000 rpm and um, It worked. Anyway, thank you for watching.